Disney's plan to replace Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye and Disney has yet to reply to the accusations. After Jeremy Renner was charged in court with wishing to hurt his ex-wife, Sonny Pacheco, Disney reportedly considered replacing him as Hawkeye in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. According to several Hollywood insiders, including writer Daniel RPK, the studio is thought to have examined options in the event that the decision was made to recast the parts of the arrow-wielding assassin. The allegations have yet to be addressed by Disney, but they come just weeks after Sonny Pacheco, who married Renner in January 2014 and filed for divorce the same year, accused him of psychological abuse and drug usage. Renner's spokeswoman categorized the allegations as one-sided. Renner allegedly intimidated Miss Pacheco, who is fighting for full custody of the couple's child. According to Pacheco, he once put a gun in his mouth before blasting it through the roof. In footage obtained by TMZ and filed by the actor's representatives, Renner referred to Pacheco as an uncertain liar. When Pacheco and his wife divorced in December 2014, they cited irreconcilable differences as the reason for their split. Despite the allegations, it is believed that Disney management rejected the idea and will allow Renner to appear in future Marvel films. He'll also star in his new Disney Plus TV show, which will revolve around his character and Kate Bishop, a young girl he's teaching to be the next Hawkeye, played by Hayley Steinfeld. Sonny Pacheco and Jeremy Renner's relationship The couple married in 2014 and it only took them 10 months to file for divorce. They have an 8-year-old child together. Sonny Pacheco is accused of being physically abused by Jeremy Renner. She said that Jeremy Renner planned to murder her and then commit suicide, arguing that their daughter would be better off without her parents than with Sonny. They agreed to share parenting of their daughter after their divorce, but Sonny subsequently filed a new action to keep her child completely in her care, citing Renner's long history of alcoholism and drug abuse. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has changed the lives of countless people who have become a part of it. There, Robert Downey Jr. relaunched his career. Before being cast in the MCU, Paul Bettany was told he'd never act again, and many of the MCU stars are now top-tier talents in Hollywood. One actor who is finally getting his own time in the spotlight is Jeffrey Renner. He finally got a lead role in the MCU via the Disney Plus show Hawkeye. But according to him, in multiple ways, he almost didn't become and stay a Hawkeye. Like and subscribe to the channel and comment done to get a free shout out. And we'll break everything down for you. He almost didn't make it, Hawkeye. Because of, well, a hilarious reason introduced in Kenneth Branigan's 4 as Clint Barton, the actor has been in the franchise for more than a decade. By the way, thank you, thank you. Talk to me, man. You've been playing this character for a decade now. Did you ever imagine anything like that and then spin it into a series? Of course not. He joins the universe's founding Avengers, Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, and Mark Ruffalo. However, there was a point when he almost passed on the superhero role because he wanted to produce his own movie. Marvel Studios decided to take a chance and try to launch their own superhero franchise with Downey and Jon Favreau's Iron Man. It was a huge gamble since if the film failed, the corporation would lose all rights to its remaining characters. Fortunately, the blockbuster was a critical and box office triumph, and it also allowed Kevin Feige and his crew to continue constructing the MCU by casting other stars. Renner was so impressed with Iron Man that he was eager to join the universe until he learned the terms of his contract. Speaking with Vanity Fair, the actor recalled how he got started in the MCU, including why he nearly backed out of playing Hawkeye. According to him, the fact that he needed to sign a multi-picture deal was a source of concern for him, because he didn't want to wear a superhero costume when he was 50. Funnily enough, he's now that age and he's still an active player in the universe, even starring in his own Disney Plus show. I remember going into talk with Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige and Louis D. Esposito, and they showed me the ultimate version of Hawkeye, Iron Man, and I said, I'm into what you guys are doing because I loved Iron Man. I like how you made Iron Man plausible, so that's where they are. 
my similarities to I'm not sure if I want to do this and I'm not sure if anyone else wants to see me in tights at 50. To be able to express a character in a long form storyline and Disney, well there is no better place to do this than the well known track. Renner isn't the only one who experienced this problem before agreeing to join the MCU. Evans turned down the role of Captain America several times before accepting it. By that time, he had already played Johnny Storm in Fox's Fantastic Four films, which, well, did not do well, so when Evans was approached by Marvel Studios for the role, he was set on not accepting it because he didn't want to sign a multi-year contract and be locked into a franchise that could potentially be bad. But after a while, he eventually boarded the MCU. Chris Hemsworth and others have noted that being in the MCU isn't as easy as it appears on screen. Hemsworth has stated multiple times that getting in shape for four, the fourth installment of which will be released next year, has drained him in the past, and he was more than willing to shed all the muscle in order to just be himself again. His co-star Natalie Portman left the MCU for a long time due to creative differences with the heads following what happened with Paddy Jenkins. Her recommendation for the director role of the second four film and The Dark World. It's curious what was the turning point for Renner. However, he didn't say what ultimately convinced him to take the role, but it's safe to say that he's happy he did. I promise you now have two series for people to watch with this mayor of Kingstown. What's it like to hop back and forth between these characters? It looks crazy. He put his foot down because he found himself flying back and forth frequently to spend just a few hours with his daughter. It taught me how to have the nuts to say, everyone F off, it's my time with my daughter. The runner stated that the actor's interviewer Alex Batsujari wrote in his cover story that someone close to Renner warned Marvel that he would be fired. I said, okay, replace me, I'm going to be here with my daughter, the runner said. Runner recalls the actor saying that his child comes first, so if a project doesn't enable him to see Arva every week, we'll turn it down and everything else goes out the window until my daughter says, I want to hang out with my friends and I don't want to be around you so much, daddy. The question now, of course, is how much longer will Renner play Hawkeye? Well, the first season of Hawkeye is only six episodes long, and we're halfway through them right now. There is a possibility for a second season, but the show's reception thus far hasn't been stellar. Furthermore, part of the point of the show was to bring in Kate Bishop to possibly be the new Hawkeye, so this could be a chance for Renner to pass the torch to his new apprentice and then go ahead and leave for other things, including his Mayor of Kingstown series that he's in other pursuits established that helped you along and helped you get started. I mean, I think it was even in the MCU with Downey that kind of kicked off the MCU and the way it was done. The supporters' reaction on social media Following the discovery that Jeremy Renner's ex-wife filed divorce papers against him, many people did what is currently fashionable on social media. For a brief while, the hashtag RIP Jeremy Renner became viral. No one thought the actor had died, but it did mark the end of his stint as Hawkeye in the Marvel Universe. Some fans even demanded that he be removed from the franchise entirely, but it's not quite that straightforward. The situation is still being reviewed, and with Marvel Studios' upcoming Disney Plus show Hawkeye starring Jeremy Renner as the titular character on the horizon, Disney has stated that Jeremy Renner's contract would not be terminated. We can see that Jeremy Renner's role as Hawkeye in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is not being terminated aggressively. However, if he does not appear in any subsequent Marvel projects, we must conclude that he was dismissed. Everyone, take a look at what almost happened to Jeremy Renner with the Hawkeye role and how his perseverance resulted in a well-received show. Are you glad that Renner stayed on with the role? Do you think that with the reception of Hawkeye's Disney Plus series, he'll keep going with this, or do you think he'll pass the bow to Kate Bishop? Let us know in the comment section. That's all we have time for today. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel to see more amazing videos like this in the future. Everyone, until next time.